Yo, what's going on, gambling YouTube and my fellow DJs? It is I, the Gale, back at it again with another prize picks and NBA betting video. So, um, in this video, I want to do a first look. I want to um, kind of go through my process again live with you guys and just see who we might want to target um, as the day develops. So, we are on the DraftKings Sportsbook and we are looking at the game totals for today. Looks like there's only four games, right? So, um, the Raptors Bucks has a 4.5 spread, 224 total, so that's not the worst. The Brooklyn Nets pops out to me at a only a 5.5 spread and a 232 total, so that's something that's a game I think I might want to target. The Portland Trail Blazers has a pretty high total and only a 6.5 spread, so that's another game I'm gonna look to target. And then the Philadelphia uh, 76ers versus the Clippers only has a one point spread and a 223 total. So there's only four games. So like basically all of these games are in play uh, for people to target. But the Brooklyn Nets and I think Portland kind of stands out. And then the 76ers. We already know that Joel Embiid and James Harden are the go-tos. And then on the Clippers side, we're looking to see if either Kawhi Leonard or um, Paul George is going to be out. And then we just usually play the other one, right? And the rest of the Clippers are kind of unreliable, except for maybe Zubac. Uh, on the Nets side, Kyrie has been doing me dirty. So I think I might actually fade him and then go to his teammates because you see a 232 total and you know Kyrie can't do it alone. So I'm thinking Royce O'Neal, Ben Simmons, Nick Claxton, and that's about it for the for the Nets. Then the Spurs, I, I haven't really been attacking the Spurs lately. So I mean, but somebody got to be attackable in the Spurs, right? Maybe Keldon Johnson if he plays. And then the Raptors, you know, it's um, Giannis and Drew. But if Giannis is out, then you go Drew Holiday, Bobby Portis. And, yeah, that's about it for that. And then the Raptors, obviously, Siakam, a little bit of Fred Van Vliet. Actually, all the Raptors are pretty good, but mostly Siakam and Fred, Fred Van Vliet for the most part. So now with that, let's go over to the Line Star app and look at the matchups real quick. Let's uh, reset that, wait for the Line Star app to load up, and then we'll go over to the matchups and see what, which matchups might be looking good. Okay, so right off the bat, Siakam is in a good spot. Um... Yeah, the past three performances kind of went off against them. Miles Turner went off against the Bucks. Bam out of bio in the, twice. So Siakam is looking good. Claxton, I already mentioned Claxton. So now we're going to hone in even more on Nick Claxton, right? Uh, Brooke Lopez, he's in a good spot. So yeah, he's uh, he's actually a targetable person. Nikola Jokic, Jokic is in the, in the, you know, he's matchup proof. So I don't really look too much about that. Same with Embiid. He's, he's, he's pretty much matchup proof no matter where no matter where he lands. So let's go to power forward. We got Aaron Gordon in the best possible position he could be in. So we might look to target Aaron Gordon a little bit. Ben Simmons I mentioned already. So yeah, Ben Simmons, we're going we gonna to target him. You know, he doesn't really score, but he gets those uh, rebounds and assists. So we might look at his assist props and or rebounds and assists. So we'll, we'll take a look at that. We don't know if Jonas is playing yet, so we'll have to wait on that. Let's go to shooting forward or small forward. Um, we got Keldon at the top. Like I mentioned, he's one of the only targetable per people on um, Spurs, maybe Trey Jones. But TJ Warren, he's also on the Nets, so he, he might be targetable. Let's see what he's been up to. Nine points, three rebounds, 20 points, 10 points. He's kind of volatile. Can't really trust him, but who knows, right? Uh, Tobias Harris, I mean, he's got Joel Embiid and Harden on the team taking up most of the usage, but Tobias can get his, get his here and there, but, you know, you don't want to really want to be guessing which game is going to be, so I don't know about Tobias. We usually like to play Tobias if either Embiid and or Harden is out. So uh, let's go to shooting guard. Grayson Allen, he he is a streaky. He's hit or miss, right? He, if he don't, if he's not smacking those threes, you know he's got 17 points, 12 points the last two games, five rebounds, three rebounds, four assists, five assists. I mean, while Gian while Giannis is out, he might be an option, but. And then we got Harden. He's pretty much matchup proof, almost. Royce O'Neal. All right. And then let's go to point guard. We got Drew Holiday, of course. He's in a great spot. So if Giannis isn't playing, he's he's a, a pretty safe option as long as he doesn't tweak. Um, Tyrese Maxey, eh, maybe. Jamal Murray, he's safe. You know, versus a high total uh, Portland game, he likes to go off against certain teams. So he might do he might do some. Yeah, he's pretty safe. And then Fred, Fred Vliet, like I mentioned. Yeah, so, okay, okay, so now we got the people that we might want to target. 
So let's go over to prize picks and see what's available at the moment. Let's ch ch check it out. Okay, so we'll go to uh, the NBA and see who they got. They got Keldon. Let's go to points, rebounds, and assists. They got Keldon at 30, Nick Claxton at 24. I like, I like, I might like Claxton right there. Um, I don't know about Dame. Jokic, like I said, is pretty matchup proof. He might, go, he should go off against Portland. So that's that's probably a good play. Aaron Gordon is only at 26, but uh, Denver is pretty health healthy. So even even with Aaron Gordon in a good matchup, the fact that Denver is pretty healthy kind of takes me off of him because that usage, usage is going to get spread around mostly to Jokic and then whoever else gets lucky that game. Um, let's see. Okay, so that's all they got really. They got Joel Embiid. I thought I saw Harden earlier, but they, they must have took him off. Let's go to points and assists, see if Harden's there. Yeah, they took Harden off. I don't know if he just became questionable or what, but for now... Okay, oh, see, I kind of want to go Nick Nick Claxton barely covered. He got four last time. Can he do it again versus Spurs? Probably. But I think I'd rather go fantasy points just in case he doesn't hit that completely. Um, you know, we can still get those points towards the fantasy. But anyway, let's let's make a pick real quick. We'll go Harden for sure. I mean, Joel Embiid for sure versus the Clippers. All they have is Zubac down there. And then we'll go... Um, you know, we'll go Jokic too. We'll play it safe. We'll play the studs today. I don't see Drew Holiday. Did they take Ben Simmons off too? Man, it's okay. So we don't have too many options right now. This that's why this is a first look. Okay, they got Ben Simmons assist though. Uh maybe we can rock with that. You know what? We're gonna take a chance. We're gonna take a chance on Ben today. Actually, let's see what rebounds and assist is, because that's all he really does. 15. If he gets 10 rebounds, yeah, we, we, you know what? I'd rather go rebounds and assists for Ben Simmons because if he gets like a triple-double, that's a hit already, just about, um, or a double-double. So we'll go – that's three players right there. You know, we're going to stick to three, right? We're going to play it safe because I've been missing by one on these four plays. So let's stick to three, and we'll make this a first look um, $24, $3 power play. Let's, let's see if we can get 120. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. All right, so that's the first look. I might make another video as more options become available, but uh, if I don't, good luck on your picks. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this content and want to see more. And uh, leave it in the comments if you think these plays are safe. Leave it in the comments if you're liking certain players. Just let me know what you're thinking for today. Let's, let's cash today, y'all. So with that, thanks for watching and peace.